Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, back with some more Ace Attorney. Last time we finished off the Lost Turnabout, the tutorial case in Justice for All. We're now starting case 2 of Justice for All, Reunion and Turnabout. Uh, this case has a heavy focus on spirit channeling, so if that makes you uncomfortable, you might want to skip the case. Uh, I did mention that earlier. Anyway, uh, if you're still here, let's get going. That was... no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eenie? I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. June 16th, 3.34pm, Wright & Co. Law Offices. What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me, do you? Uh, I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is what that girl said. I'd stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. That's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's gonna hear about my $1,500 suit. Uh... About your case, unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Y yes, yes, I heard you. I agree, it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good, and yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. Yeah, that was the accident we just saw. This is this is it. That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now I'm just gonna say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients and not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Uh, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? Come on, Phoenix. 
You're a lawyer who proves people are innocent all the time. That's like, for some reason, that is your job. <laughs> no, this is something only you can do. Maya Faye. You know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together. But she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, uh, yes, I heard. It must have been lonely for you. What? Wait, I'm not... Just be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Ms. Fay. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm gonna have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh. Maya? I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women with the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I really wish they'd clarified whether they meant women or AFAB people when they said that, because... I mean, that would be a really cool way to figure out that you're trans. Like, oh, I can talk to ghosts, I guess I'm trans. <laughs> I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, so we have first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. Okay, it's not her first time. She channeled me a couple of times to help out with our previous cases, so... Get your facts straight, Gray. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? And so... That is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Ahem! <coughs> hmm. June 19th, 1.25pm, Curane Village. So this is Curane Village, Maya's hometown. Why, hello there. Hmm. What an odd little girl. How, I mean, I, I know she's a girl, but you don't know that yet. Phoenix, come on. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! M Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It's only two hours by train. If I'd known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well... Anyway, congratulations. I'm here to hear train. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> Looks like you've finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of the Meyer Intelligence Network. <clears throat> Let's see, 14 patients died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Meyer Intelligence Network anyway? Tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. Don't, don't use those words, Maya. That's very ableist. That's too scary, even for me. Y yeah, I guess so. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Maya? The, uh, her name? Yup. 
cute rain village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true, since the fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? Oh, they usually work someplace outside the village. Again, I really, really want to know if discovering you can communicate with spirits means you're trans, because that would be fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. That's right. Come on, let's, let's, let's do this, sorry. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Again, how do you know that that's a girl? Phoenix, come on. I already know who that is, and she is a girl, but don't make assumptions. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly. Pearly? Pearl Faye. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled, in drilled it into her head that... If a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Curane Village. Aunt? Pearly's mother is my aunt, duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright. Good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. June 19th, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid matter. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. Why? Uh, wh wh why were you given a copy for me? Like, it doesn't... Guide map added to the court record. I'm gonna have a quick look at the guide map, just so you have an idea of wh where we are. So yeah, we're in the meditation room right now. The channeling chamber is through that big door in front of us. And then off to the side, we have the winding way over there. And clearly there's supposed to be more places, but these are the only ones that matter in the case. So that's all we get to see. <laughs> What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry and I apologise for being negligent. That's what I'll have a right. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya Fey? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Q-Rain School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Ms. Maya is the daughter of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Ms. Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Uh, we do want to meet her. She's quite important. So we're going to head in there. June 19th, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights. I guess they're candles? You guess? You, you can't... 
you can't see that they're candles by looking. <laughs> Good sir, who might you be? Ah, uh, I'm. Uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good. Sir. You must be that good, sir. Good sir, is she talking about me? You're a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so, Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you've already forgotten. That was... That was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistance? You would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, oh, thank you. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Isn't that a little... strange? Good sir! Yes! How dare you be so rude and disrespectful toward Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, alright, uh, so, about Mystic Maya, uh... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she's the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Q-Rain channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. Remember the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Curane school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the masters. So that's how it is. So today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is unusually very strong, it is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident indeed. Channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Looks like you're just drinking tea, but okay. So, this room is the channeling chamber. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session? Don't even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Oh. The secrets of the Curane techniques can not be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh yes. I wonder if you've yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She's an adorable, angelic young girl. Well, now we know she's a girl. Come on. <sighs> oh, that odd. She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have. <laughs> Your heart that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to, anyway. I must insist and stress that you do not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, so we're done talking to her. Uh, we do need to go to the Winding Way as well. So we're going to do that next. June 19th, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. Yes, an incinerator. Very important to have one of those. In in a case. <laughs> June 19th, Fame Manor, side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. 
There is bedding spread out on the floor. Looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Oh, I think I know what voice to use here. Hey you! Hold on now, this gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm, I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh, well I'll be, it's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in what, a year? Uh, you, uh, um... You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photographer, a lot of heart. Oh, so I guess you're still at it? Being a photographer, I mean. Of course. And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. Channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case, but I guess looking back we had some good times too. Okay, gotta get going with that channeling. <sighs> Okie doke. Uh, we'll just head out to the meditation room again. Here we go. June 19th, Fay Manor Meditation Room. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya, an honoured guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally swaddle those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologise, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yup, right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Click. So that was the door being locked, by the way. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madame, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request you return to this heart of the heartland. Well, what are you? This is Curain Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lotta up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. <gasps> hey now, w what was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Hey, th that's a gunshot. Excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. M Maya, Maya's in there. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're gonna have to break the door. Is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter, that is... Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to the Wright & Co. law offices later. Yeah, and that's what I call being a man. If you say so. Slam. Slam. Crash. D Dr. Gray! I... I was... murdered. M Maya? That man... murdered me. So I killed... him. What? Lara, at a time like this? 
times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she... Maya? Step away from there. I don't know who that is. Please let this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but... Hurry, before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. June 19th, Curane Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone boost to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I saw a genuine, genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's a real control... controlling... Oh, he's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts to holler and... Must have been real rough to work for him. June 19th, Fame Manor Meditation Room. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Miss Fay, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Yes, I just have to wait. The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Jimshu? Um, my name isn't Jimshu. Two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. There's no one here. June 19th, Fay Manor, side room. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Ack, uh, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh. No, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person just kills another person. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like totally a bummer. Yeah, after all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, uh, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Meeny. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something? Like supernatural phenomenon, ASP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. Phenomena, plural. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. So what brings you here, what brings you here today? Um, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? 
Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause like, talking to dead people and like, multiple personalities are my thing. What? What, is to what does talking to dead people have to do with the show identity disorder? That doesn't make any sense. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm like, allergic to sesame seeds? They like, master put some in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I like, felt sick and came in here to like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. She is. She is trying to hide something. June 19th, Fame Manor, Winding Way. There's no one here, as usual. Ack! Uh, hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Um... What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? June 19th, Fay Manor, Channeling Chamber. The police are busily running here and there. I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you, don't touch anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... But the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... But? But he's also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. We do want to get a bit of evidence here, so if we could let us do that. Hey, pal, no touching without my permission. I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect, now can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. We do need to get some evidence from this room, so we will have to come back later. June 19th, Q Rain Village. She's probably scared of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lotta? Oh, don't let it. God, don't let it be. Let it be there. I can't. God, don't let it be me next. Eek? Don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine! Uh, I already looked at this one. So I'll just fast forward. I'm holding the B button to do that. There we go. Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this sort of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What is too much? You need a cult photographer. 
that's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. You know, if the photo is more within your reach from now on, more glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Fuck, she did. Two, even. A seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. I'll be a, it'll be a sensational story. Lotta. Sorry, my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. <laughs> I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? June 19th, Fey Manor Meditation Room. Oh, dear madame, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Ahem, <clears throat> alright everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm gonna give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy, don't use that word, this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. June 20th, 8.02am, Fey Manor, Meditation Room. Ooh. Ugh, morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center. ASAP. June 20th, 10.34 a.m. Detention center, visitor's room. N Nick, Nick. I... Maya. What am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. So you're the master or something of the Curian School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, it is all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Well, yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the cure in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then, you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move. And it was unbearable. Really suffocating. When something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. 
There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm gonna get gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. Of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose. I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? Sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magatama received from Maya. Okay, that Magatama is very important. But we'll see why shortly. June 20th, Kurain Village. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? June 20th, Bay Manor, Meditation Room. The Meditation Room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. June 20th, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? But we need to find her. June 20th, Fay Manor, Side Room. Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, dentist guy. No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith, Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got like three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college and... Um, you told me about that yesterday, the sesame allergy too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? If Lotta ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Okay, you can see this box is new, so let's have a look at it. Hmm, now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Okay, we didn't get the evidence yet, but we do need that box, that's very important. We'll see why in a bit. In a while, actually. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. The apostrophe's in the wrong spot. <laughs> I suppose this village is the real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here for like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least from the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says, with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday too? That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... Flashback. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? 
Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Okay, yeah, we do need to get the information out of her, but to do that, we need some more tools. June 20th, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to meet, go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitty you lose your tongue and jaw droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Ugh, she's one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too, while I have the chance. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. Th this is... It's a hole! Could this have been made by a bullet? Folding screen added to the court record. Yeah, that's really important, by the way. <laughs> I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? Obviously. That man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. And what happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Meyer on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Meyer's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. By the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexper inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. How? Like, if channeling means that you, like, essentially disappear until the channeling ends, how are you supposed to control the spirit while you don't exist? But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that is why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that that would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that would be? That folding screen there, it is the q -Rain Sacred Writings. Along with the q -Rain Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one, oh, the humanity. I'd be be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess it isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Y yes In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. Th that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl's a channeling prodigy and is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? 
Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <sighs> Alright, we're done here. Uh, we need to find Pearl. I think she'll be in the Winding Way now. Yes. June 20th, Fey Manor Winding Way. Ack, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she's an open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. <gasps> Ack! I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. Z that's... That's Mystic Myers. Huh? She actually spoke? Who are you? I am Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You... You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? But I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special someone. What? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes, it must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't, things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm gonna help you in any way I can. I love her so much. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I studied the Q-Rain technique. Oh, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. I did say Pearl doesn't know much about us, the outside world. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me... <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. Black, he added the court record. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Megatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Megatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Okay, um... We can use that to get some useful information, but we might need to pick something else up first. June 20th, Fey Manor Meditation Room. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're gonna be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. 
I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Well, you're a cop, so, a cab. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know, I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing us something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. A cab. What about Myra and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. We've got a, you've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puppy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta... I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Lotta's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realised by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? I found Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. Hmm, looked really interesting too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. So yeah, we have to go uh, back to the office in order to get that copy. We'll do that shortly, though. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial, and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid began a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm... Kid, huh? Wait a sec. 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something about... Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. That's really vague. A, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore, now that he's gone. Okay, so we have to go back to the office so we can get our copy of the uh, brochure. June 20th, Bright & Co. Law Offices. Phew, feels like I've been gone forever. There's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any, any help. Newspaper clipping. One added to the court record. So... We know that Curan Village is two hours away from Phoenix's office by train, so it's kind of interesting you have to go back to the office and then back to the village during the investigation like this. Just wasting four hours. You, just, you waste even more time if you want by doing this. 
it's another it's another four hours. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we want to show this to Detective Gumshoe. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and hey, it's that news story, the one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Alright, thanks. There's paper clipping too added to the court record. Okay, that's all we need. Uh, we're now gonna go talk to Eni, uh, who is still in the side room, I believe. June 20th, Fay Manor, side room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Oh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How old do you think I am? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like totally don't know him. Ah, what is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these Psyche locks, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the perfect proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this Psyche Lock thing a try. So this is the new feature that they've added in this game and the next one that makes investigations much, much better. Basically, when you're talking to people, sometimes they'll have dialogue options that are locked like this. And when you get a dialogue option that's locked, you get your Megatama out, you present it, and then you get like a little mini trial segment, basically. The victim. Eeny meeny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you. Like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between Amy and Dr. Gray. Well, the second news clip, newspaper clipping says that Mimi Meanie, uh, nurse at Dr. Gray, at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic, Mimi, Amy, you can see the connection. Take, Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Mimi. Mimi is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Mimi wouldn't have to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a, a, a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Heck yeah. Obviously, you know, the psyche looks get more complicated than that one, which is super duper easy. But you get the idea. You have to look around to find the right evidence to break these locks. And so it gives some direction to investigations rather than just looking for the cutscene that happens next, basically. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... my sister's name was Mimi Meanie. She was, like, a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. And that's what I thought. 
I heard that, like, Dr. Grey was really tough on people, like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home terribly wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. Yeah, like, uh, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry in people's hearts since I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I have a lot of trouble with the fact that side room is at the top here and you expect meditation room to be at the top. It's annoying. Uh... June 20th, Q Rain Village. Mr. Nick. Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Q Rain Village. R really? Wow, that's some um, pretty amazing. You were going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know Eenie's secret now, but I still don't have any idea I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should, should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> to our trip. Back to the detention center. June 20th. Detention center. Visitor's room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's my old, older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making right now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. B but So, tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is. I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes? Mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Y yeah, she said she dreamt that she'd died and been, been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. Yo! Uh, sorry about that. I got momentarily interrupted there. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then... What does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. 
a setup. It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. R really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. This is so subtle. <laughs> Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but... How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who... who could have... I didn't know it at the time. But this day was going to end with a term for the surprising. M Mia? What? What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the Psyche locks. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me... What in the world is going on? Oh, okay, so that was a very, very long investigation segment. I don't think it was the longest, but it, it, was, it was up there. So next time we're gonna start the trial. Ugh. So I look forward to that. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And bye!